What's up, PMP gang? Gang, 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 a long time ago, this was back when me and Flo, like before we started counseling and things like that, my manager gave us this game to play. Shout out to her because she actually was asking, did y'all ever do it yet? Did y'all do it yet? And I was like, no, we didn't do it yet. I, I'm guessing it's supposed to be dope. So we decided to go ahead and do it for y'all on camera. We feel like this is a segment of our lives that you guys, you know, will probably be interested in seeing. You know, ain't nothing like, you know, coming over and chilling with the princess and Flo, cause you know, we lit. And look, we about to get spicy and real with this, so stay tuned. All right, before we get started, we want to take a shot real quick. Wait, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get our videos as soon as we drop. Follow us on Instagram at I am Princess Leia at I am D Flow. Follow him on TikTok at I am D Flow. And we're gonna take a shot before we get started, because you know it's the vibes. I got my bonnet on, I'm chilling, you know. Make sure y'all ain't see that. <laughs> look. <laughs> 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 All right. Cheers, Cheers Michelle. So this, the way this game starts off is first thing we gotta do is it, just in case y'all wonder what we're drinking, we're drinking Casamigos Reposado. Reposado. Repo, it's Reposado, not Repo. Respoado. Desperado. <laughs> okay, so it's called the Anne. So welcome to the Anne. You're now entering a space to explore your relationship, and we're so excited to have you here. As far as our experience goes, the rules are simple. So number one, sit facing one another with a comfortable distance between you. So we gotta actually like. Okay. Choose an equal number of random cards from the deck. We've already done that. We've each got 10 cards. And take 30 seconds to relax and look at one another. Four, alternate asking, answering through all the questions. Every question must be asked, but you do not have to answer the question. To earn the right to remain silent, you must look the person in the eye for 10 seconds before saying pass. Our intention is for these questions to hold space for meaningful conversation, an opportunity to learn through vulnerability, and most importantly, a fun way to deepen the connections in your life. Much love and enjoy. Okay, we're gonna change one rule. We gotta answer every question. Yeah. Ain't no skip. No, no, no. So, so basically what I was thinking was if we do want to skip it, because it's kind of almost like a truth or past, whatever it's called, we, we got to drink. If we don't want to answer, we got to drink. Nope. If you don't, you got to answer. But what makes the drinking part come in? Where they come in at? To drink. Got to answer. Okay, we got to answer the question. Okay. Let's go before we start the game. Okay, so we're about to start the game. The first thing you got to do is you got to look. look at each other's eyes for 30 seconds. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Wait, let's start a timer. I could look in your eyes all year, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all, all my life. So this is 30 yeah. seconds. I don't know. If I look in your eyes for 30 seconds, I might have to hit though. Well, I, I can't just up. look in your eyes for 30 seconds and then not smash. Ready? Shit. Okay, you ready? Alright, go. <laughs> Stop moving. Work, Stop doing all that. Move back. <laughs> Kids. It, wait till after the 30 seconds is up because you gotta look at me. I'm looking, your eyes I'm looking at your eyes too. <laughs> wait, wait, it's almost over. You got five Shit. seconds left. <laughs> Why did they go off? Wait. That's not silent, man. Oh. Alright, so that's the first part of it. I guess that's what's the point of that? Like, what does that do? That just so I guess that's supposed to build an instant connection. I guess I don't know. It's supposed to open up the energy for the game. I guess. All right. So answer the question. You want me to read it over? Yeah, go ahead. Do you feel like we lived up to the dreams we had when we started this relationship? Why or why not? I, I feel like definitely not. We haven't. Why? Because we ain't there yet. So what happened? Listen, we we're on the way. You what know? haven't we lived up okay, to? Okay, I will say that we have definitely lived up to, you know, a lot of the beginnings of our dreams and aspirations. Okay, I agree. But there's a lot of more things that are coming. Yeah. So, but do I think that we are going to? Yeah, but we haven't yet. Yeah, and I like the answer because it's like, 
we're not I'm I lot we love our lives and we love where we are but there's no growth in comfort so we don't ever want to just be comfortable here where we are right now like it's always more we have so many more dreams and like aspirations as far as like building a right. house you know what I'm saying paying you know having our whole dream wedding paid off like these are all of our affirmations that we say every day but starting right. from where we came from I feel like we have come a long way and we actually have built so much since we started this relationship so we definitely have built a lot so we yeah. have a lot of but we got a lot more to come. You know, yeah. That's, that's what it is. Like, never get comfortable. I feel like just some advice from us to y'all, never get comfortable. Because then you find yourself like, dang, what, what have we done? Like, yeah. we ain't go nowhere. Always want more. Yeah, but always be, want be more. be happy, though, with what you have. Yeah. But mm-hmm. always want more and work for more. Next question. How many people do you think I've slept with? <laughs> Oh, these, these are the types of questions we Oh, doing. my See, God. See, I, 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 I didn't know what type of questions it was going to be. So, Flo. I'm going to say, well, damn, I can't even. I don't know. Like, 150? <laughs> it's more than that. He, he was a little hole in his day. You think it's more than that? I don't know. I mean, that sounds, that sounds right. about right. Like, I don't know. That sounds about right. It could be more. Oh, could more? <laughs> nah. Wow. Dang. How you gonna put me out there like that? That was the, what the question Wait. You said we gotta answer all the questions. Oh, so nah. I set myself up. Exactly. Oh. So I don't, so only I gotta answer. Only you gotta answer. No, only you have to answer. That question was for, um. For you. Oh, you were supposed to ask me that question. I, I did. How many people do you think I've slept with? I did ask you to. You answered it. Oh, I thought you meant how many. Okay, 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 okay. Well, well, well you, you said 150 for you? Oh, no, no, no. no. Whoa! N- oh. Hell no! No, people? I absolutely did not say that because you was like, oh, you gotta answer that question. No, you just said, I... oh, y'all. You said, well, yo, let's not do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because I'm just you kidding. was like, oh, you gotta answer that question. I'm just like, kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> and for you to even think that about me, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so next question. All right. What do you love about our relationship? What do I love about it? There's so many things that it, I don't know. If, I don't want to make this a two-hour video. You know what I'm saying? I love everything about you. About our relationship. About our relationship. Yeah. I love everything what can about you say about it? Tell the people. What What do you What do you love? I about mean, it? we have like what we have is I'm gonna tell you. We have the most amazing relationship I've ever had. You know, like we've been able to go together, and build together, and do things I never thought I could do. And you, I mean, I love what it's the kind of person it's made me, and how strong it's made me. How much I learned, you know what I'm saying? I love like the other things we could do in our relationship, like the flexibility and the trust, and the, you know, yeah. like we could bring other girls in and it doesn't hurt our relationship. Right. It's rare. What well, we, our relationship is rare. It's very rare. And that's why people look at us like we're weird. But it's just something that we share. Like you said, the trust is there. So it's like it's something that we deeply share and connect on. Like, and it's, it's, it's an unexplainable type of experience. Like, but I'm glad that we can do that together without any drama, without any problems. Like, we really haven't had any drama when it comes to that. And another thing, like, this isn't our first experience. It's just more so, like, out there to everybody. Mm-hmm. Where everybody can have their input and say what they want to say, whatever. But we still don't. We always just kind of remain who we are throughout the whole process. Like, we do what we do. We have fun with it. You know, I feel like for who we are, we're really, really fun people. Like, we have fun with everything that we do, no matter what it is. Like... I'm answering the question for you, and I ain't supposed to be doing it. Well, no. I mean, you're just expanding on what I said. I told you what I love about a relationship. I told you. I mean, there's a lot more I could say. And I, it's another thing, too. Like, we don't argue a lot. Like, we don't it's argue. just so much. Yeah, we really don't. We, we might argue, but we don't carry on. Yeah, that's true. We'll walk away. We kind of, like, either just, just be quiet. Like if we're in the car, that's probably the worst time because you can't walk away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're more bucket. So it's probably the worst. When we argue, we get it over with. It's like a yeah. one and done. Like okay, we because I'm the type of person I say what I gotta say. I don't I don't bite my tongue. I'm a strong opinionated, and I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say and what I got to say. Period. And a closed mouth don't get fed if you don't I speak mean, I, your mind. I mean, I say what I gotta say, and that's it. And one of us, you know, one of us might might say too much, and then we just get over it. You yeah. Know what I mean, like we don't really go on and on. A lot of people like one person says to another person like, "Oh, I gotta go harder than you." Yeah, and that's like what, tit for tat. Yeah, and it's like to the point where it escalates. We don't really do that. It's like, all right, cool, you said all that, yeah. whatever, I'm done. I don't want to talk about it no more. 
It's like, I feel like we're gonna keep going on for like, and that's how I am, so, yeah. Next question. What? <laughs> what does it say? If I were to cheat on you, what do you? What? I thought it made noise. If I were to cheat on you, what do you think the reason would be? Hmm. That's some interesting questions here. That is a good question. Some interesting questions. Um, that's a really tough question. I don't really know, and I have thought about that because I feel like I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm not trying to brag, but I, I'm definitely the full package when it comes to like what I am to flow. Like, I give him the extra, you know, benefit of having another female and things like that. That's like, that's like the only reason I feel like a guy would cheat is to go and just be with another girl just because they maybe feel, have an empty void or whatever. But there's literally, you know, I feel, I feel like I feel all the gaps. I'm just saying, that's how I feel. You could tell me I'm lacking anything. But based on, like, my confidence in this relationship, I just feel like we're there. I'm, it's there. Like, there's no reason for you to go out and cheat. Period. So you're saying that there, there will never... Not that I can think of. Like, mm. I guess I'm at the point in my life where it's like, I don't really want it. That's not like... If that, that I've already seen what I need to see. Right, the relationship. right, right. right. That's you true. know what I'm saying? Especially with me and you because we built so much. I'd be like, why would you even want to risk it with something like that? You know what right. I mean? It's not worth it for the time. Because we have crazy fun times. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, what's right. The it's point like, what, what's the point? And that's the way I feel. And just like she said, like... I wouldn't cheat anyway, but the fact that we do, like the kind of relationships we have, like poly relationships and just having other girls like that, like what, like it would be dumb for me to cheat on her when we can experience, I, I actually, like I told her before, I actually would rather be with some, another girl with her than just be with another girl by myself. It's just funner. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's funner. Like, I, it's, I and every guy does not get that. Like, every guy cannot get that. That's why they go and cheat. Because right. they cannot get another female with their well. Trust me, guys would rather have have two girls instead of having to go through the stress of cheating on their girl that they love. I would home. rather have a threesome right. than just be with myself and another girl. Yeah. That's funner. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's and, more fun. And I, I'm sure we said it before, but we had a threesome early on, like, before we were really even official. Like, right before. Like, around the same time. It was like, it's something we experienced from the beginning. I mean, so it's like this is nothing new, but it's like it's, it's something that I would rather experience with you, because I've had plenty of women by myself. You know what I mean? I've already went there. I've, maybe that's why some people cheat, because maybe they haven't. They but, haven't. Went, yeah. But I've been with enough girls where it's like, okay, I've done that. Yeah. Now it's time. This is like way better. You know what I'm saying? So that's my. Uh, okay, I feel that. Okay, when you close your eyes and think of me, what do you see? <laughs> I see some lights because they're all my face. <laughs> <laughs> I close my eyes and see a bunch of lights. But, um, but nah, I really do see the most beautiful girl in the world. The most amazing girl I've ever seen. You know, a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be blush. Okay, next question. I mean, I'm going to have to say my children's dad. Like, of course, you know, we were married and we have children together. Like, that's well, I figured you were going to say your children. <laughs> I thought you said what's that like I thought you meant like another guy. Well, I mean yeah, I didn't specify. Oh, yeah. okay. Well I thought that's what I thought he meant in terms of another well, I mean guy. that's fine. Oh okay, well yeah. Do you believe there is the one for you and am I it? <clears throat> this should be easy, right? I'm here. You're the one. Okay. <laughs> There's no question about it. I mean yeah. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Why do you love me? <laughs> you know what? Let's I, take let's take a I, shot. I like this, this question. Let's take a shot for this one. Um, boy. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. This is actually a really good game to play on live too. Could did that. Could have been. Why game. you pouring so much? I, I was pouring slow. I'm That's a lot. These are my medium chad shots. These are regular shots, yo. If I had a shot glass, this wouldn't even be a full shot, yo. I promise you that. Okay. Okay. Why do you love me? Why do I love you? I love you because you let me be who I am. Um, I feel like you, you, you definitely brought out a lot in me, and you, you're on me about. I feel like you helped build a confidence in me that I didn't have. Like you know, I was always a confident girl. You know, I always felt like I had it together. But I feel like you helped me, like identify things in me that I didn't see. Like how you're on me about like consistency and stuff like that. Like 
and you you accept that flaw like you accept my flaws knowing that okay damn this girl just cannot get it right like but you still accept that and i also feel like like i said you just allow me to be who i am like you let me just express myself you let me and I'm, I'm not just talking about vocally, I'm talking about just my style, the, just the way that I am, like who I am. I feel like you value my opinion, like if when it comes to business, if it comes to, you know, just opinion on anything. Like if you need an outfit idea or hair idea or anything, you trust my opinion. Like you always come to me first about everything that you do. Like that means that you trust me and how I feel about this, knowing that I have a sense of style and a sense of understanding of business and stuff like that. And also, just, just with business, I feel like it's so much that I'm talking about this. Even with business, like, we're business partners, too. Like, we're not just, we're not just lovers, but I feel like we're friends, we're business partners, like, and we just have so much fun together, you know? Like, I feel like our relationship is so genuine that maybe it's not captured enough on camera. You know, a lot of people don't see who Princess and Flo really are. I don't feel like, you know, we can, I feel like it's so much of an abundance of love and just genuineness that... The camera can't even capture it. That's just how real it is, you know? Um, and I hope one day we'll be able to show y'all that in some way, but it's just like, you know. It's in, it's in the moment. It's, it's in, yeah, it's in the moment, you know? It's, the and those on. moments are genuine. It's not like, oh, let's pull out the camera while we're, while we're kissing. Let's pull out the camera while we're in love and we're having a good time and a good conversation. Like, these are moments that we genuinely have without a camera being around. If not, then it's forced for y'all, you know? Well, it's not forced, it's just that like, I don't know, like, it's just that sometimes when the camera's on, it's about something specific. Yeah, it's you know about I mean? something specific. And it's right. like, and we want to do more vlogs, but the truth is, and, and that's when we can capture these moments, but a lot of the vlogs we do, they don't get views. Yeah, it's like, y'all don't want to see the loving side of us. Y'all rather see... And we'll be able to talk yeah. in this video right here, if that's true. Yeah, y'all would mm -hmm. rather see drama or, you know, pranking one of us, getting pranked right. or something. But anyway. And that's fine, but we really want to show y'all the other side, you know, of Princess yeah. Like if you want but, to see more of it, let us know. Like, let us know in the comments right now so we have an idea of, like, what it is. But, but what's the next question? But, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think we'll last? Why or why not? Yes. I think we're going to last. I mean, if I didn't think we are going to last, I wouldn't have asked you to marry me. Right. I mean, I definitely think. I've never been so sure in my life. <laughs> I'm getting some easy questions. I ain't gonna lie. All right, when do you feel closest to me? I feel like I always feel closest to you, honestly. Um, but when I feel closest to you, I think it's when it's not dealing with anything business. Because again, me and Flo have also have a business relationship. So I feel like when it's business, the personal is separated from, you know, our relationship. So anything other than business, I feel like I feel the closest to you. We're watching movies, and we're you know, whatever it is, I talk to him about everything. So I always feel close to you, other than the business aspect of it. You know, I always tell you, damn man, I feel like it's just too much business. I'm like, I'll tell you when I'm feeling that way. So no, I get it. Yeah, it's a lot of business, but I mean, you know, that's what it is. That's who we are, and that's why we're gonna be billionaires. <laughs> it's already out there in the universe. You know what I'm saying? what it is all right my question is oh wait did i ask you yeah. oh yeah, yeah i did i did what do you think i want from life i think that what you want is uh money <laughs> 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 or just to like not just ability but the ability to do uh whatever you want you know whenever you want um i think that you want to be able to travel and see the world and you know, I think you want your children to be successful, happy. And I want you, you want a good, you know, strong relationship, trust. You want trust and loyalty. And um, you want people to love you back. <laughs> <laughs> rub my back, rub my feet, rub my head. I want a full uh -huh. body massage. <laughs> Oh yeah. Wait, the question's for me. You ain't gonna I'm answer. Saying you just knocked my back now. You gotta get it all apart. Okay. And her. Two. <laughs> 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 but nah. Um. I mean, I think that's a lot of what I said. You know what I'm saying? You want your space and times. I do. Um. 
Five things you'd like to change about me? The five things I would like to change. It may not be five, but I'll try to make it five just for the sake of the question, okay? Um, I would like to change your stubbornness, in which I feel like we all have a bit of stubborn in us. Um, Plus I'm a tourist, so. I would like to change <laughs> your patience, because you can get impatient, and I feel like I can too, as well. Um, at, at times, at times, it kind of depends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Dang! I don't even think I can name five things. I would like to change. I don't know. I, is it wrong if I can't say five things? I'm trying to think. I, mean, uh, I would like to change your eye color because I think not. Nah, I'm like, jeez. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's um, going too far with that. I mean, how many people got blue eyes? Not me. My. My eyes do change colors. I'm just kidding. Calm down. My eyes. Do, oh. Yeah, they go from blue to red. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Nah, they do change it from blue to green. I don't know why she was trying to act like they don't, because you're the only person who said they don't. Okay, so. I'm, I'm colorblind, so I can't really tell that well. I would like to change the fact that he snatched. Oh, baby, here we go. He snatched. Literally, when we sleeping in the bed, y'all, this is how he sleeps. <laughs> He be fighting with the covers like he mad or something. I don't know about it. I don't remember. He'll be like, that. he'll turn over, but he'll be like, hmm. <laughs> and he'll keep doing it. I'm like, damn! And he snatches all the cover from me. I'm like, I didn't even know. I did. <gasps> you never told me that. And then, okay, and the last two thing is, I would like to change that he leaves the toothpaste cap off the toothpaste and he leaves the toilet seat up. <laughs> Ooh, those are my pet peeves. Like, why the fuck do you man, do that, that? That's every guy, man. Come on. All right, next question. My turn, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. What's the pain in me you'd most like to heal? Excuse me. Well, I don't think that it's possible. Pure pain that's inside, you know. But if you could, what would it be? You know, the crazy, it'd be crazy to say this, but none. Let me tell you why. Because if I were to heal some pain in you, it'd make you a different person. Mm. The pain is what made me who I am. And uh, I don't, you know. I agree, it makes me who I am too. I don't think I can. Uh, I don't really want to heal any pain I have. I mean, it's, it is what it is. So for it to heal would make me a different person. And I like who I am and I like who she is. So I don't think that I would want to do that. That's like a time machine. Yeah. It'd be like going back in time and deleting it. I would hate for you to win anything. I would hate any pain that you went through. And that's why I hate if I ever hurt you. I, that's what I hate the most. I hate to hurt you. You know, that's why whenever I do something like that, I feel bad because I don't really want to hurt you. Never my intention to actually hurt you. And um, so I would hate that you went through pain, but at the same time, I can't change, you know, I wouldn't want to change who you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. You go ahead. No, it's your question. Oh, yeah. Am I different than you imagined I would be when you first met? Um, yes and no, because Okay, it's a hard question to answer. It's not hard to answer, but it's like a duo type of answer. It's like a two two answer type question. Um, Cause I feel like when I first met you, I saw a lot of potential and I didn't know what it could be exactly. But as time went on, like I saw those changes and I liked what those changes were. I ain't gonna lie, when I first met Flo, this is another part of the question that I have to really, really say. Because when I first met Flo, he was super, super, super persistent, like, and consistent as hell. The boy would not give up. He would not let up. And that's how he got me, you know. He's the same way in everything that he does. When it comes to the gym, going, working out, when it comes to business, everything that he does, he's literally, like, so consistent. And it's crazy. Like, I've never seen nobody as consistent and persistent as Flo. I've never seen it in my life, you know. And I... 
that part I would say is is definitely not different at all. That's that he's been like that since the, since the first day I met him. He was on it like, um, and I feel like that potential that he had from the beginning that I saw is what made him who he is even better. So I mean I saw that from the beginning. So yeah. Um. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. Do you ever get jealous of my success? No, I don't get jealous. Yeah, absolutely of, not. I don't get jealous of anybody's success, and I think that. Um, and just for the people watching, um, that are still watching, <laughs> I don't think you should either. And I think that is actually a very common thing that a lot of people actually do get jealous of people's success. That a lot of people. This is this is a very big issue. I feel like you should never do that. And and there's a lot of men out there who who wouldn't be able to be with a successful woman, yeah. more successful than them. But I mean, the thing is, we're partners and in everything, including this channel. But if you were to do something, if you were to do something or create a business that were to blow up, um, I wouldn't be jealous at all. I, I would actually, I'd actually, would you, would you please? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, one thing I want to add to that, because, I, you know, one thing about me and Flo, we, we congratulate, we're genuinely happy for everybody. Like we don't, there's jealousy. That jealousy energy does not exist anywhere in our world at all, like from either of us. And we don't we don't even emanate that type of energy on anybody else either. Now, although we feel like there might be people jealous of us, but we never we never get back that same energy. Now, as far as our relationship, you know, me and Flo both come from like music careers, like in the industry, like being around rappers and singers and different artists and you know what I'm saying, being in rooms with, you know, just all kinds of things that go on in the music industry we've been in those rooms so it's like you know i've been in heat flows watch me in a music video with a whole dude all over me and i can't say that he wasn't jealous because i mean i feel like anybody would have you know an issue with that but it, it didn't he didn't do anything to try to ruin my music video you know what i mean whereas most men or most women would have been like oh no nah, hell no nah. like well, i'm gonna tell you something about that um in that video my they were shooting her video i had to shoot my video next and I'm just a professional. So I knew that if I did get upset about it, then it w I wouldn't be able to shoot my video. Right. My video had, and we put a lot of money in this. So right. I, my video had to come out right. So I just didn't, I mean, I was near there. My, my homeboys were there. They're kind of like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're sitting there, they didn't really say much to me, but I was down, it was like two, it was like two or three stories. I was downstairs most of the time. But he'll come up and check to see what's yeah. going on. Yeah. You got the film crew in there like, hey, yeah, do this, do this. Tell yeah. us what to do. It, it, it was and, kind of making me mad a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I just, I, I'm in control of my emotions enough where I was like, man, I'm just going to, I got I to gotta focus on what I got to do, man. You know and he, and I think it got, kind of goes into the trust thing too. Like he knew that it was, you know, this is acting. This is a music video. We do this shit all the time. We act, we do what we, we, we got to do and we get it done, period. I mean, yeah, I, I could have let it get me mad. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, but I decided not to. You know what I'm saying? That was a decision I made. But I mean, that's the kind of things that you do when you 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 sign up for when you accept being, you know, with somebody that's that's an artist or or actor, exactly. you know, or you know what I'm saying? Because we were both in that in that industry. He was a rapper. I was. I, I had to worry. I didn't really have to worry about it. But with rappers, it's even worse. They got to deal with all these bitches around, all this, you know, ass, and you know what I'm saying. But that I was never. You know, concerned. The about advantage that. I had is the type of relationship we had. Just imagine that was lit in Atlanta. It you know was saying? definitely there was definitely a lot of girls around, and instead of me just cheating on her, we would just go home with her, both of us. Or they would come home. Bought me. Well, they would come home. She would come <laughs> home with us. But I'm just saying, instead of the other way around, me going with her, she came with us. You know right. I mean? All right. Is it my question? Yeah. What's the hardest thing about a relationship? What's the hardest thing about our relationship? Um, hmm. I don't think it's really hard at this point. I feel like we've gotten through a lot of, you know, obstacles in the beginning. We kind of like got through a lot. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really think we have anything that's hard to be honest with you. I mean, both of our families accept each other, you know, um, we don't really have any drama when it comes to like the children. You know, we we, we kind of went through that phase at one point. Um, but I feel like we're in a really good space when it comes to our relationship, to be honest with you. Like, I agree. Yeah. 
we, there was some hard times. There, there was a lot of different stuff you don't know. Yeah, stuff that y'all don't know. Multiple things you don't know. But, I mean, it was just part of this relationship. Yeah. And, and it's definitely complicated sometimes. Yeah. But that's over. You know? Right. All right. Um, oh. What do you... Oh, this is a good one. Okay. What do you love and hate? about the way I dress? Um, I love the way you dress. Yeah? Yeah. You dress very nice, very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like, what, what do you, cause I know that you made a couple comments about certain things that I would wear. I did? Yeah, I think it's like with the see-through stuff, you don't like, you don't Oh like no, it. I don't like no see-through shit. Yeah. This girl went to the club with like all her friends with the see-through, her, her nipples. I did like not, y'all. I'm, I'm looking at her store. What the fuck is this? I didn't realize. I swear on everything. I did not realize because my friend had on the same shirt, the exact same shirt, and it was a different color. And I didn't. Hers wasn't like that either. I didn't even notice hers was like that until he pointed out. He was like, "Yeah, y'all got y'all." I'm like, "What?" I didn't. Trust me. I was like, "Yo." Okay. Uh, She's on her story like, "Hey, I'm like, what the fuck are you <laughs> wearing?" Yeah, and it's I'm so like, embarrassing now. Home. I'm just like. I'm you just like, home. like now I'm embarrassed. So I'm not, I'm I mean, like, I, I didn't even do that, but I was definitely mad. No, he was. He was like, yo, what you got going on? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed. My titty out. I can't. Like, it was like the see through where you can, like, the lace kind, but you can see it. And I, it was, I, I thought it was covered. It was see through. And I was like, yo, don't do that. That's probably the only time where I was like, listen, you're going too far. And sometimes. It's like, if you're going to wear that, actually, you can't, you're not going to wear that. <laughs> but. If for some reason you just had to wear it, I got, I'm gonna have to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not doing that without me. Like that's too much. Yeah. Take, taking it too I far. Can't nobody see these little saggy, saggy dragon titties, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and ain't nothing to see over here. <laughs> okay, listen. She has beautiful titties, and and that's not for everybody to see. Oh. Um, um, <laughs> there's another thing he be saying when I be like wearing. I mean, most of the times, usually what I wear be out the house, but my clothes are fitting, and I do have a body. Like he'll be like. Girl, you can't go nowhere with that on, girl. I'll be like, what you mean? Like, I mean, I'll be just kidding. Girl, you can't, you can't go nowhere without that, with, with that on. I'm like, I mean, she be trying to booty all fat and shit. Like, I can't help it. <laughs> all right, whatever. That's my turn. Yeah. What do I smell like? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of question is that, yo? What kind of question? <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't say that. You don't say that? No, I do, I do. <laughs> it sounds like something that's made up. Wait, come here. You actually always smell good to me. Like, I you know. always did smell good to me. Because, you know, I, you know, being with a white boy, you always have those, you know, those thoughts like the wet dog smells. <laughs> and he's never, I've never, now he do have a little wet doggy kind of smell when, after the gym. But that's, that's Yo, it. I be going stupid in the gym. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. But see, I be wearing like all the sweats. What do I smell like? I wanna ask. I wanna know. That was my question. I know, but I, I wanna ask too. A tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. No, what do I smell no, like? I wanna know. I mean, you just you just smell like roses. <laughs> Why is it looking like that? Like, boy, come on, now. be let's be realistic. Be, that boy said roses. I don't even really like the way roses smell. You trying to tell me I smell like a, a plant? <laughs> Your roses don't really smell like nothing. <laughs> nah, I'm like, just kidding. But I mean, you just I don't know. You smell like yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He told me I was musky one time. I was like, oh dang, that's embarrassing. Remember you told me that? He was like, yeah, I did. You did. I don't remember that. <laughs> That was that one time, that's it, other than that. Okay, what's a memory from your childhood you most want to remember? I already know you know what you want to say. What am I going to say? Something about your mom. Yeah, um, I mean, that I most want to remember? Yeah. I mean, just every, every you know, for a lot of y'all who don't know, my mom did pass away when I was like 22. But, um, I mean, just anything for her, you know. I mean, I, I do wish I could go back and relive some of those memories, definitely. I don't know about anything specific. I mean, I honestly, there was a lot of bad memories. Didn't have the perfect childhood. 
But for the good ones that we did, I did have, I would definitely like to relive those. I love this. I don't, I don't got anything specific. All right. Describe what you were like before we met. The same. <laughs> I mean, I, I, feel I, already like, knew she was gonna say that. I feel like I was, of course, I was a lot younger, and I feel like I, I maybe haven't grown into my womanhood yet, just yet, you know. Um, but I feel like I was the same. I was, I was still, I mean, you know, still definitely out, going into her womanhood. Maybe not where you are now. Yeah, yeah. Because you were a woman. I was a woman, <laughs> but I still feel like I maybe didn't really all the way know myself too, because you know, I, I had been married for a really long time and. Since I was a young, like basically since I was a teenager, so you know sometimes when you when you when you get married that young and when you get with somebody that young and you have children, sometimes you know you don't really get to get to, get to know yourself because now it's all about children. Now it's all about somebody else. It's not really just about you. And I don't feel like I went, you know, I I, I don't feel like I got the time to really learn Leia, you know, and develop into who I who, well, who I see. Am. My thing is like you know, it's not like you were single for a long time. So what you, you mean? You feel like you learned that with me? I mean, I feel like I had time in between, yeah. Um, and, and you know, growth comes with time as well. So I feel yeah. like, yeah, different experiences, different person, you know, different different things happen. Um, but what was the question again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, sure. Describe what you were like before you met. You know, I was still a freak. <laughs> Cause I'm the one that turned him out, child. Um, what, you mean? what you mean? Huh? Turn me out. So I turn him out. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Um, I you know I don't feel like I really changed much to be honest. You know, like I said, I just grew, grew up. I glowed up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Oh, this is a good one. What have we yet to try to do together? Sexually? When at whatever. Sexually, I mean I think we literally have tried. The only thing that we I mean, the only thing we haven't done is is more than three more than us me, us and one girl. That's the only thing we haven't done. We done every fucking thing else pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I think we have done. And that's not even necessary to do ever. I'm just saying that's the only thing we never did that I can think of. We definitely win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yo. Know, I think we tried pretty much everything. You know what's crazy? I had, um, I was doing my, uh, my affirmations to put on the mirror in the bathroom. Like, I was looking for my sticky notes, and they were in this, uh, because our bed, it's like a storage around it. Like, these things lift up, and it's like storage, like, in there. So, I, I was lifting it up. That's how I found this game in the first place, because it was in there. And I lifted it up. You know what else? I found so many toys mm -hmm. in there. So many stuff that we bought, like that we. There's so much. <laughs> I'm like, damn! I forgot we had this. There's so much shit. So like, much stuff. Like just time. We be having ropes, time people up. You know what I'm saying? Don't this... make it seem like we up here are killing people now. No, no I mean, I mean, they're, they're they're completely like happy with it too you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like yeah it's all it's all uh, what's the word We're consensual it's all consensual anyways. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i can remember some things you know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> who has what uh that was my question what's the memory from your childhood you most want to oh, we already, we already, that, that, that's done. yeah why is it why is it asking us that twice Oh, you must want to forget. Oh, what's the memory? Miles, you want to remember. Oh, okay. What's the memory from your childhood you most want to forget? Yeah. I don't really want to answer that. I think you know what it is. I do. But I did go through a very traumatic experience, and um, I would definitely like to forget that. How oh, How do you think having children would or has affected our relationship? I think it's made it better, stronger. I mean, I love her children. I mean, I feel like she feels the same way about Mason. So, um, it never, it never was a problem with me. I mean, the girls got along with me pretty much since the beginning, for the most part. So, and there's never been an issue with them ever. So, I don't, I don't foresee them being any because they're good kids. So, I don't, I don't think it's nothing. It doesn't really matter. 
does it make a difference? Well, um, even if having children together. Oh, like, if we had a children. Even if yeah, it's having or had or like if we have children and or have. Oh, children, if we had a child. Both is both. Well, if we had a child, I would like to have a child. Yeah. And um, just so you guys know, I know a lot of you guys were like, oh, when y'all gonna have a child together? We actually have had two children already, technically. Because the first time I got pregnant, I lost it. And then the second time, we actually tried again, and I lost it. So And, and this wasn't that long ago? And this wasn't a, the, I, less than a year ago? Yeah, this the, actually, when I had my mis my second miscarriage was in January. Um, we have, if you guys want, there's videos on there about it. Um, well, I don't know, did we? Yeah, we did a whole yeah, we, series. Yeah, we, we did. We did on, a lot of videos about that, so you can check. We did out. a whole journey on it. And I decided I didn't want to put it out because I felt like it was just yeah. too much. The second pregnancy, we did a whole journey from the beginning. Yeah, and we did ultrasounds, all of that. And she had a miscarriage, so we didn't actually put those videos out. But the first one we did. Yeah, oh. this this started over. This yeah, that's started. what I'm saying. Okay, so we'll do one more, y'all. When, when have I disappointed you, and how do you feel about it now? When have you disappointed me? Um, I mean, I think we kind of both know that answer. Um, I feel how I feel about it now is I understand it, I guess, um, for what it was at that time. And I mean, it's what it is. It's not a big deal. So. It's not nothing that's like. Why are you in this relationship? To fuck you and other bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in this relationship because, you know, we, we, I, I feel like this whole video answers that question. I feel like I don't really need to re-say it. Everything we said in this video is the reason why I'm in this relationship. Plus what I said. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But, and, and, and excuse me, they're not bitches. I'm sorry. <laughs> you and other ladies. Other, other women, other other ladies, other uh, beautiful ladies. I love that. But um, anyway, that's the video. We appreciate everybody who watched it. Thank y'all so much. Let us know if y'all liked it, cause I feel like when we do videos like this, y'all be y'all don't be rocking with it for real. We're just trying some other stuff. You know, this right here is definitely something positive that y'all yeah. can maybe take something from and learn more about us because i feel like a lot of y'all don't really know us for real a lot of y'all are new you know we appreciate so, y'all for subscribing right. and there's a lot of people that have been on here and they've been actually like viewing mad videos and commenting we appreciate that for real uh, we're gonna do a post shout out ooh, ooh, ooh. wait we gotta do a mo motivational moment so uh, what i can say is since we're on the topic of relationships and what you're if you're with somebody that genuinely makes you happy cherish that relationship and try to find out ways to always make it better i'm i'm consistently always finding ways to spice up my relationship and and do things differently and keep things interesting and you know and just always you know keep things pushing forward you never want to get comfortable you ever, you never want to be like okay yeah this is it oh my god and because that's when people start to think like there's more out there that they want to explore. You know, you have to kind of just be more, you know, just upbeat about your relationship. Always have that fire going. Keep the fire going. And however, I mean, a lot of people can't do poly relationships and that's not what I'm telling y'all to do or whatever. Um, <clears throat> you know, I just so happen to be one of the women who understands what that means, you know, and and, and how, how to properly apply it to my relationship. Um, but that's not for everybody. I see a lot of y'all comment. Oh, yeah I could never share my man. I could never do that and me personally I don't feel like I'm sharing flow because there's a lot of flow that these girls is not getting I mean for real for real like they really <laughs> They barely getting anything to be real with y'all like I'm not sharing flow. You know what I mean? Well, it's like more like instead of saying sharing me. It's like we're just sharing each other with someone else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying as opposed to like it's not it's like because if she were to say she's sharing me that would be like saying that like it's my girl and then she's my fiance right but instead of saying she's our girl so she, we're sharing our we're, we're sharing our relationship we're sharing our relationship with her yeah she's not my girl she's not her girl she's our girl yeah so that means that like 
it's not, you know what I mean? I don't know. That yeah, I get what you're saying. That, that's what makes it a but, poly relationship. See, now, if it was my girl, that would be like an open relationship. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. This is a poly relationship. It's different. Exactly. A lot of people don't understand what that is. But I'm, well, what I'm basically, to get back to the point, what I'm telling y'all is, you know, to just stay motivated about your relationship. If you really love that person, you know, always try to find things to keep your relationship going. You know, never feel like, oh, y'all the happiest ever because good things always run out. Thing, you know, good good times don't always last, you know. Um, but if you do have things that you like together, date nights, you know, even games like this, you know, do game nights with each other. Just just always do something. Don't never forget about each other, you know, because sometimes we get caught up into work. We get caught up into the children. We get caught up into the world. It's alive, and we forget about our significant other. You know. Um. Any uh, motivational? No, no. You, I think you covered it. Just, so he's doing a post notification. No, I'm, I'm gonna let you do. I just, I just picked it. All right. All right. So we're gonna do the post notification shout. Just so y'all that don't know. Who is just texting your phone? You know, it's a couple, but no. That's fine. Y'all was waiting on the other one. But um. um but, we're gonna be doing these, watch our videos to the end of the video, and we're gonna be shouting out one person who commented on our last video, so make sure you get a lit, funny comment, and we're gonna shout you out at the end of our video, so make sure you watch the end. All right, they said, okay, Kesha Lee, or Keisha Lee, I don't I hope I'm not saying it wrong. She said, Flo, great video with Lily, but my girl Princess wasn't playing no games, but it's Princess putting her man hair I think she said pulling. I meant she. I think she meant pulling. But it's Princess pulling her man hair and grabbing his face and telling Lily, "I'm gonna scratch your eyelashes off. Keep these videos coming, please." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But yeah, so we hope y'all like this video. Let's we'll see y'all in the next video. Okay. Ever since I met you, my life has changed. Yeah, change for the better. For the Ever since I met you, my life has changed. Yeah, change for the better. Yeah, change for the better. Change for the better. Change for the better. Change for the better. Change for the better.